Good morning, guys. So this is our prompts for the week. So as you'll remember, we always start with reading our entire prompt from start to finish. So that's what we're gonna do. Read the information in the box below. Being a good reader can change somebody's life in many different ways. Think about why it is important to be a good reader. Write to explain why it is important to be a good reader. Be sure to clearly state your central idea, organize your writing, develop your writing in detail, choose your words carefully, use correct spelling, punctuate, capitalization, punctuation, grammar, and sentences. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that right here, it says we're writing to explain. That tells me that this is expository. So we are doing an expository essay because we are explaining why it's important to be a good reader. Why it's important to be a good reader. Okay, so I'm going to write brainstorm. Why it's important to be a good reader. Okay. Why is it important to be a good reader? Um, to read street signs and maps. To work. You have to read to be a, to work. To travel. Um, for medical care, you have to be able to read what they're telling you, and prescriptions. You have to read for information, so you have to evaluate info for truth. What I mean by that is you have to be able to read something and decide if it's true or if it's not, because you can write whatever you want. Not everything everybody writes is true. Um, to talk to friends, especially now. To write letters, you have to be able to read to write. Why is it important to be a good reader? To read books. And this could even be to read books to yourself, your family, your kids someday. Why is it important to be a good reader? Hmm. To pay your bills. If you can't read, it might be hard to pay your bills. Let's see. Being a good reader can change somebody's life in many ways. Think about why it is important to be a good reader right to explain why it is important to be a good reader. So I guess this makes me think about what it means to be good. So to be a good reader, I feel like you read quickly, you read smart, meaning you get the information. You can um, understand words you don't know. Using context clues.
So to me, that's what a good reader does. They read quick, they read smart, and they figure out words they don't understand using the sentences around it. So why is it important to be good at that? Why is it important to be a good reader? Okay, so now we know, I've got a whole lot of ideas down here, but I know I need two supporting details. So I'm gonna need my SD1 and my SD2. Supporting detail one, supporting detail two. So these are gonna be about why it's important to be a good reader. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm looking down here and deciding what I want to talk about. I guess these two kind of go together, reading street signs and traveling. You know, I'm going to put, it's important to be a good reader for medical care, just because I have had, I've had prescriptions written wrong before. And because I'm a good reader, I've been able to read and see that they're wrong. And if I wasn't a good reader, I might have taken the wrong medication. And you know, I'm gonna put this one too because there's so much information online right now. There's so much fake news that I read a really long article this morning about this pandemic and it was long. I mean, it was probably I don't know, six or seven pages long. And while I was reading, I was having to ask myself, I wonder, is this factual? Is this something that I could prove? Is this somebody's opinion? And I was evaluating the information for the truth, not just believing everything I read, because that would be scary to believe everything that I read, but evaluating it for the truth. So I'm gonna write about these two things right here. I'm going to draw a circle around them so that I know those are my supporting details. I'm going to write them up here. Um, so you'll remember that your topic sentence is going to have your two supporting details in it. And then you're going to take those two supporting details and break them down in your second and third paragraph. So I'm going to write my topic sentence. And then I'm going to star my two supporting details when I write it. So my topic sentence needs to be about my prompt. It is really important to be a good reader because now I'm using this part right here. It is important to be a good reader. It is really important to be a good reader because um, it helps you evaluate information for the truth and it helps you get um, the best and most accurate medical care slash prescriptions. Okay, so here is my SD1. It helps you evaluate information for the truth. That's my SD1. And my SD2 is it helps you get the best and most accurate medical care or prescriptions. That's my SD2. So there's my topic sentence. I'm going to put a box around it because we know that it was one of the most important parts of our introduction. So now we are going to write our introduction. Okay, so I'm going to flip my paper over, over 
I'm gonna draw my hamburger planner. I'm just doing a big old rectangle because I don't feel like drawing a super cute, super cute hamburger. Okay, here we go. Introduction. Now, I always write down what I expect in my introduction. So I'm writing restate the prompt. And the more you do this, the more you're gonna remember it. And topic sentence. Okay, so I'm not gonna start with my topic sentence. I'm gonna start with talking about reading. You know, I'm going to start with a question. Have you ever considered what your life would be like if you couldn't read? You wouldn't be able to read street signs, order off of a menu, or read your bills in the mail. Okay, so I've hooked my reader. I've got them thinking about why it's so important to read. Now I'm gonna put in my topic sentence. So it's really important to be a good reader. It is really important to be a good, I really should draw this line after I finish my introduction. I'll start doing that. Reader because it helps you eat, that's a really crazy why, sorry, evaluate information for the truth and it I'm gonna do a quick sentence check because I know I should have three to four sentences in my introduction. So one, two, three. Okay, did I restate my prompt? Yes. Do I have a topic sentence? I'm gonna underline it because that I know is what is driving my next two paragraphs. So there's my topic sentence, there's my introduction. I'm gonna set up my SD1, SD2. We know that these are gonna have reef. I've noticed that quite a few people aren't really stopping to think about what reef stands for. So reason, explain, example, feeling, or thought. Same down here. So there's your job for today. Do your brainstorm. Come up with your SD1, SD2 topic sentence and write a super awesome introduction. All right, guys, have fun.